Okay, hello everyone. This is so weird, yeah, because um, we are not having like face-to-face -face classes. But but I I mean I thought about these online classes because I know that you like studying English. I love teaching, so we have to find a way to keep with the English classes. Um, okay, I met some of you last uh, week. Some others I couldn't. But well, um, we play uh, some games, yeah, we have fun. So the idea right now is to work a bit on, on this thing that we are living as a society, yes? Not only in Argentina, but all around the world. So I just sent you a link of, of a video. Yeah, you can watch it on Netflix, um, uh, or you can watch it like on the, on the link, you can find it on the link that I already sent you. So after watching the, 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 that video, yeah, that lasts, that lasts for about 25 minutes, I would like you to do this survey. Yes, it's kind of a game. So what I want you to do is this, is to read uh, the, the questions that I have on the board. You're going to write down the, um, the answers, okay? And then you're going to send me the answers and I tell you if your answers are okay or not. Remember that the questions are regarding the video that I sent you. Are you ready to play? Let's see how much could you learn after watching the video. Of course, these are not very technical questions, yeah? They are like general questions, but I really uh, love uh, to see how much information you could uh, get from the video. Okay, are you ready? Okay, here it comes. So, the first question is... Do you know what's the scientific name of the virus that is affecting most of the worst countries these days? And we have coronavirus, COVID-19, 2019 novel coronavirus, and virus flu. So I'll give you five seconds. Okay, so you have to write down A, B, C, or D. Question one, A, B, C, or D. Okay? So let's go to the next one. It says, what is a pandemic? A disease prevalent over an area, a town, many people, a whole country, or the, a whole country, a whole country or the world. Let's see. So, question number two. What do you think? A, B, C, or D? I'll give you five seconds. Okay? Question number three. So the next one is, how many viruses do scientists estimate that exist in mother nature that they don't know yet about? We have A, two billion, one and a half million, one thousand million, or three hundred million. So this information must be taken from the video, okay? Five seconds. Okay, next question. Question number four. It says, How do we call the starting point or base from an activity, in this case a pandemic? We call it ground zero. B, starting point. C, Business or the virus base. One more time, how do we call the starting point or base for an activity in this case a pandemic? A. Ground zero, B. Starting point, C. Business or the virus base. Okay, question number five. It says fever, coughing, sneezing, diarrhea. Are a disease. B. Are different ways our body reacts commonly. C. Are nothing to worry about. And D. Is the way our body is fighting back a virus. So, we have five seconds. Five fever, coughing, sneezing, and diarrhea. A, B, C, or D. Okay, let's, go, let's move on to the next questions. Okay, it says 1918 flu pandemic could, could have started when? A. 
Infected pigs met humans. B. Infected bats met humans. C. An infected human and an infected bird met the same pig. And D. An infected bat and an infected bird met the same human. Okay? So you have four options in five seconds. Next one. This is question number six, okay? Question number seven. What is a synotic virus? Synotic virus. A. Viruses are germs that animals have and mutate rapidly when they get into the human body. B. Deadly viruses. C. Germs that live in the human body. And D. Germs and viruses that are difficult to be spread. So A. Viruses are germs that animals have and mutate rapidly when they get into the human body. B. Deadly viruses. C. Germs that live in the human body. And D. Germs and viruses that are difficult to be spread. So this is question number 7. 7 A, 7 B, 7 C or 7 D. Then you send me all the answers and they tell you if you did it uh, right, okay? Question number eight, it says, So, what do we know about this virus that is affecting us nowadays? A, it's highly deadly. When you say deadly, is that it can kill you. It's highly deadly. B, it's really easy to be spread. Spread, yes? To, 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 uh, yeah, to be like, yeah, to people and uh, to other people. Person to each person, that's what I'm saying. C. It's a virus that comes from Italy. Or D. It's been killing millions, millions of people around the world. It's been killing millions of people around the world. And there's a reason here. Okay, so A, B, C, or D. Question number 9. So, what is the best thing we can do right now to stop spreading around the disease or the virus? A. Continue with our life normally and wash our hands. B. Be in panic. C. Go to the doctors and have a checkup. Or D. Stay isolated at home and avoid social events. Okay? And now you're going to send me all the answers and I tell you how many out of nine you did right, okay? And this is your homework. What you're going to do right now, yeah, with all this information, and now that we are living on this like um, social event, yeah, because it is huge, I would like you to prepare something for me. So here you have what you have to do after watching this video and participating in the quiz. Fuzzy says, thanks for participating. And now I'd like you to prepare a video telling us about what measures you're taking to avoid spreading this virus. Um, I don't know, if you're staying at home, I'd like, I'd like to know what you're doing, okay? If you're still going to work, yeah, I'd like you to tell me which precautions you're taking like, for not spreading the virus. I don't know, some people are telling me that they are not wearing shoes indoors or like they are washing out of their hands. I want to know everything. Yeah, so uh, how can you tell me about that? A, you can record a video, yeah, like a YouTuber. If you like that, I love recording videos, as you can see. I'm trying to do my best, but I think that some of you will take like the camera and talk directly to the camera. That would be awesome, yeah, like a YouTuber. And then uh, B, you can use TikTok, yeah. If you find like a video uh, re 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 like related to um, to the to the spreading of the virus or like things to, to do that would be awesome I, I haven't found any yet but if you find one that, that would be awesome and see uh, you can record an audio if you don't like seeing like watching yourself in a video you can all, only record a, uh, an audio on whatsapp or using an application for recording audio or the fourth possibility is to prepare a poster yeah a poster uh, you can prepare it like digitally or like or with your hands and take a photo as you wish and then you can explain the poster, you can uh, make a video, an audio or you can write it. If you ask me, I prefer you to talk because as uh, this is an online class, I'm trying you to speak and to record your voice so I can listen to your English. 
You can write it and then read it. Yeah, that would be awesome. But remember that it's an online class, and I want some uh, you to send me some audios or something that I can just uh, listen. Okay. Um, what else? Yeah, and then also this is not written, but I would like I would like to receive memes. Uh, there are a lot of memes. Do you know what's a meme? In Spanish, it's meme. Yeah, there are a lot of memes everywhere um, about the coronavirus. But I think that you can find a meme, a really funny meme. Yeah, we, let's try to see the positive part of all of these chaos. Yeah, so we are going to make a meme competition. I want you to find a meme, try to translate it in English. Okay, because sometimes there are some words, but they are in Spanish. So uh, tra translate them in English and send, send me. The, the poster or the audio or the video and the meme, okay? Uh, here is Abel. Yeah, she's been participating in all the classes. <laughs> okay, so that that uh, that has been the class. I hope you enjoy it. Um, and yeah, I, we, we are going to be in touch. I, I will be waiting for your activities. And next week, I'll be sending you again activities, videos, and things to do, okay? Uh, oh, and my dog is here. Okay, this is the perfect ending for the video. Okay, bye-bye. Kisses to all of you. Bye-bye. <laughs>